Hello, welcome to the Butler Moving Up Ceremony. My name is Teresa Soros Pina, Principal at the Butler Middle School. We will begin our ceremony with the national anthem played by Mr. Figarino, Butler music teacher. Good evening and welcome parents, family members, staff, and Lowell Public Schools community members, and especially our eighth grade class of 2020. This has been a challenging year for you. Not only have you been working to get promoted from middle school, but you have, you have been dealing with some very new and some very chronic issues as well. I have been a teacher and administrator for over 30 years and I have never had a year quite like this. The new coronavirus, COVID-19, has brought many changes. Stay-at-home quarantines, social distancing, wearing masks, school shutdowns, stores and restaurants being closed, people getting laid off or losing their jobs, and some of us having relatives or friends getting sick and dying. You have also had to witness the hurtful and dangerous outcomes of racism, abuses of power, and police brutality. Many, many families have been affected. Let's take a moment of silence to pay our personal respects to those who have been lost through the pandemic and through violence, and to the families who must cope with their losses. You've, you have had also had to deal with many changes at school this year. You've had to stay at home since March 13th, figure out how to do remote learning. You are not able to see your friends. There were no activities like field day, the dinner dance, the memory book and signing, or Canopy Lake field trip, and no sports. Some of you made the volleyball team, but you never got to play. And you're not able to share this day with your peers, friends, and family in our gym. I am sure some of you are feeling like, I'm not sure if I like this new life that's happening. I don't know when it's going to get back to normal. I miss hanging out with my friends the way I used to. I feel stuck staying at home all day. Some of you might even say you miss coming to class. And I'm sure you're thinking right now, I miss being in the gym with my class, having a real celebration rather than watching this video. Well, let me tell you that the Butler teachers, coaches, office staff, custodians, cafeteria staff, Nurse Tracy, and I all miss you. 
We miss interacting with you in the classroom, hallways, in front of the school, and at lunch and recess. We miss your smiles, your jokes, your styles, and, and we even miss being called annoying. We will all miss not seeing you again before you move on. And I envy the high schools that will be blessed by your arrival. So much has changed. So many things are different. Some things will return to the way they were and some things have changed forever. Change can be uncomfortable. Change can be difficult, but change can also be good. One thing you can count on is that there will always be change and how you handle change will shape your success. The Butler staff and I have been greatly impressed with how you have handled the changes that have been thrown at you over the last few months and the positive traits and characteristics you have demonstrated. You have demonstrated your resilience, showing toughness, how you can recover quickly from difficulties, strength of character and your ability to bounce back, like living through a pandemic and keeping up with your schoolwork at home. You have also demonstrated your resourcefulness, showing your talented, creative, and clever efforts to meet the changes and challenges you have faced. Like the eighth grade field trip to the Museum of Science, when the bus drove off with the lunches, everyone adapted, with students helping to coordinate and move bags around so that everyone got to eat lunch and see as much of the museum as possible. You have proven your humility Humility brings wisdom. Humility makes you teachable. Humility is thinking less of yourself and more of others. With all that is going on around us, you have banded together to support one another in numerous ways. Whether you are checking in with one another, reminding each other of Zoom meetings, collaborating on assignments, advocating for each other, or just being excited and willing to show up and be present for each other. These characteristics show that you have what it takes to be successful in whatever path you choose. Continue to work on these positive traits and characteristics. They will serve you well in the future. You will need them to be successful in high school. You will need them to make and keep good friends. You will need them to help your family, and you will need them in whatever path you choose. Use these characteristics to be active. Be active in your school, be active in your community, and be active in your family. Develop your voice, but remember, as you watch the news, social media, don't forget your classroom lessons on using primary sources and using data to support your opinions and arguments. You need multiple sources of information to help you form your own opinion and to help you develop your own voice. But don't forget to exercise your voice in your own way. Being resilient, resourceful, humble, and active will make you a better person. It will make you it will make us a better community, it will make us a better nation, and it will make a better world. And we really need your help with that today. In closing, when I think about the last four years here at the Butler Middle School, I think about your growth from fifth to eighth grade, and I have many fond memories. As I watched you, interacted with you, and had serious moments with you. I was constantly reminded of why I love being an educator. I am thankful to you and your families for entrusting your safety and education to us every day. As a mother, mother of two, no matter how old my children get, they will always be my babies. As an educator, any student 
I've had the pleasure of educating, educating, who also remains my kid forever. Each one of you are one of my kids. Thank you for being you. You have made me a better leader and a better person. I am grateful to have gotten to know all of you, and I'm excited for what you're going to do in the future. As you move on, please remember, remain, remain resourceful, resilient, and humble. Best of luck to all of you, and we look forward to hearing about your experiences and achievements. And now, let's celebrate the class of 2020, you. We will begin our celebration with content awards, starting with the LA. I found myself struggling a little when deciding who to give my ELA award to, especially since third quarter was cut short and combined with our last quarter. I had to take a lot of things into consideration when looking at the pool of students I had left to choose from. And with that being acknowledged, I am giving my ELA award to Jaden Rodriguez, who has always tried to put forth his best effort in class. He does his best to be academically engaged while also trying to bring positivity to the classroom. That all being said, I will miss all of my students, even those I did not have in my ELA class, but who spent time with me during lunch and after school. And I wish the best for all of you moving on. It was difficult to choose only one student for my English Language Arts Award. So many of you are so incredibly talented. Your book discussions, your poetry, your creative writing, your memoirs. It's been an honor to be your teacher this year and to see you all grow as readers and writers. The student that I chose is not only incredibly hardworking, engaged, and talented. She's an amazing reader and her writing is enough to move people to tears. So I would like to present the English Language Arts Award to Kate LaBelle. Congratulations, Kate. We are so proud of you. And I am so proud of all of you. I will miss you. I will miss our discussions, your voices, your writing, and our laughter. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I know you will go on to do great things. I just want to start by saying that I'm really proud of the progress the students made this year. I am truly going to miss all of the 8th grade class. For my math award, I tried to look at students from the beginning of the year all the way to the end of the remote learning period. I chose a student who really impressed me this year with her working class. Even though she may not always believe it herself, she's really pushed through and grown so much, not only in her math ability, but as a complete student. I am really glad that she was part of my last period class. I'm excited to present this math award to Tatiana Pimentel. Congrats, Tatiana. First, I want to say that I am very proud of all of my students this year. Many of you made such progress and had amazing growth in math this year. My award is going to a student who came to school every day ready to work. This student always gave 100% effort and never gave up when a problem got hard. She maintained an A average and through remote learning kept up with all of her work. I am very proud to give my award to Nicole Bugatti. I'm delighted to have the honor of presenting the Science Achievement Award to two students this year. There are a great number of students in the eighth grade class who demonstrated academic excellence and made meaningful contributions to class, so this was not an easy choice. I'm presenting these awards in no particular order as this, each of this year's recipients has unique qualities that made them stand out. The first Science Achievement Award goes to a student in the 8th grade class who consistently worked hard to improve her work. She strives for excellence in her explanations, her understanding, and in her experiments. She asks really insightful questions, a key scientific skill. The student was a valued team member in every group. And last but not least, she was a delight to have in class each day because she always presents a positive attitude and has a good sense of humor. The next Science Achievement Award 
is presented to a student who has also demonstrated exceptional persistence, innovation, and curiosity this year. Always a thoughtful learner, I have seen the student's confidence grow tremendously, and with it, his positive leadership. He's patient, responsible, and incredibly creative, qualities that are going to serve him well as he embarks on all of his future adventures. It has been an honor to have these students in class this year, and I can't wait to see what amazing things they accomplish next in the fields of science and engineering. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipients of the Butler Middle School Science Achievement Award, Pandora Benedito and Enzo Rosa. Congratulations, guys. Hello everyone, this is Mr. King, the 8th grade social studies teacher, um, coming to you from my um, topical uh, tent. I'm inside right now. Um, and this year I have the honor of presenting two awards for excellence in social studies. Um, these are two young people who have displayed a deep understanding of the value of being civic-minded, and I think we can all agree that that's something our country needs right now, is, is young people engaged and active and that care about the direction that we're moving in. The first student I have chosen has demonstrated fearlessness in taking civic action. I don't think I've seen a 13-year-old uh, as excited to get on the phone with elected officials like Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. Um, during our Generation Citizen project, she threw herself full force at it, eagerly making phone calls to elect elected representatives, spreading her class's desire for more mental health awareness, and trying to reduce stigma. With this fearlessness, she made it clear to me that she may have found a true calling following the path of civic action. And for that, I say maybe consider saving Elizabeth Warren's number, Kamora Lynn. The first social studies award for excellence goes to Kamora Lynn. My next student has displayed all around excellence in social studies this year. Um, throughout the year, she has been engaged, enthusiastic, ready to learn, whether that's in person or during this weird time of social distance learning. Um, now, I could tell that this student had a lot to offer early on. She would throw her thoughts and ideas and opinions into classroom discussions that, at times, would admittedly lead us off topic. But it always would lead us down an avenue that was worth exploring, that was worth discussing. Um, and her desire to learn was even more apparent during this remote learning. There was a lot of questions, a lot of engagement, um, and the sharing of her experiences has been profound. Um, so my second award for social studies uh, is going to another future leader within our country, and that's Veronica Porsang. This 2020 Music Award for the Moving On Ceremony gives me the opportunity and chance to point out a student who has done awesome work, met all the requirements, but it also gives me a chance to reflect on the fact that I've had this student for four years. And um, this particular student has always had a very special quality, and I, I call her the voice, whether it's the voice of conscious or the voice of... Uh, my consciousness, always able to sort of examine or look at a situation and say, hmm, just give you that look like, Mr. Fugarino, are you sure it's that way? Or, <laughs> this, was, this was actually a good thing because it, it would encourage me to make sure I'm doing the right thing. Now, I'd like to, uh, this particular student came out this year also and started singing a lot and I heard her voice and it's just a fantastic voice. Um, but through the through each year, she's actually won at least one quarter of the music award, as, as we have the quarterly awards. And um, I know this student is going to go far in whatever they decide to do. And I'd like to give this award to this very special student who has uh, 
as again, oh, he's been outspoken in a, in a in a great way, in a in a, an important way, and for her peers, for um, for correctness, and um, just diligence, just overall, um, uh, just a super job, and um, I'd like to give this award to Amaya Mitchell. Yay! Congratulations. I know you will have the greatest success in your endeavors, in your future endeavors, you know, be they high school, college, whatever it is you choose to do. Thank you for being a student at the Butler. <laughs> Miss Ballerini here. I am here to present the 2020 Visual Arts Award to an 8th grade student. So as most of you know I teach visual arts and I think it's really important for effort in visual arts. Effort to experiment, uh, willingness also to make mistakes because if you don't make mistakes you really don't learn. You don't know about, you don't learn about yourself. Um, by keeping safe and just drawing what you know how to do um, and and willingness to help other people in the classroom and to ask for help if you need it. So the student that I'd like to give the award to, I felt um, did a great job. She has great vision and she was able to communicate her vision to me and also put her vision on a piece of paper in a sketch and then transfer it into a bigger version of that idea and um, and she worked really hard she was always clear about what she wanted to do but she always worked really hard and never stopped never really gave up and I really commend her for that um, effort and perseverance through her work um, those are some of the reasons why I chose her this year and um, one of my only regrets is that uh, we had to cut it short I would have had her last term but um, through the fact that we weren't in school, I wasn't able to have her, and I miss that. So the student that I'm giving the award to this year is Julie LaBelle. Congratulations, Julie. Hey everyone, this is Miss Policelli. I'm one of the phys ed teachers, for those of you that don't know me. My award this year goes to someone that is every teacher's dream. He is hardworking, respectful, trustworthy. I really wish I could have a whole class full of him. He is a valued member of our community and I'm sad to see him go. My award this year goes to Trevin Tran. Congratulations, Trevin. I can't have present my physical education award this year to Mason Fay. Mason, you've done an outstanding job with your participation, your attitude, and your effort through your time at the Butler. Uh, it's much appreciated by the PE staff. We wish you the best of luck next year in high school and continued success with your athletic endeavors. Good luck, Mason. It gives me great pleasure in introducing our guest speaker for this evening, Mr. William Florence, grade five math teacher and basketball coach. 
Mr. Florence will be retiring at the end of the school year after teaching in Lowell Public Schools for 11 years. He started at the Bartlett and moved to the Butler after several years. He has been a winning coach for our boys basketball team. And while we do not want to see Mr. Florence leave, we thank you for your years of service and mentoring. You have been such a memorable, you have made such memorable connections and had such a positive impact on so many of our students. We celebrate you, all of your help, and all of your accomplishments. We wish you a long, happy, and healthy retirement. Please welcome Mr. Florence. Hello parents, family, friends, and most notably, the Butler Middle School class of 2020. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Bill Florence. I have been teaching fifth grade math here at the Butler for the past nine years. I've also coached the Bulldog boys basketball team for the same length of time. Mrs. Pina asked me if I would be interested in addressing the Butler Middle School class of 2020. I was honored when she asked me to say some words. I have had the opportunity to come to know so many kids through teaching as well as coaching. Coaching enabled me to remain visible throughout the entire school, trying to ensure my student athletes stayed on the right road within the classroom and overall school setting. I was able to gain relationships with kids who I never had in class because of coaching, walking the halls or cafeteria, and supporting the girls' basketball team. I was so happy to develop relationships with many kids who I originally had no connection with. I truly treasure these relationships. I told Mrs. Pina I would be honored to say some words. To the class of 2020, without a question, you have experienced a year which no one before you has ever lived through, a pandemic, an enemy like no other. It's been a turbulent ride the past few months, new to everyone, teachers, students, and yes, moms and dads at home. Congratulations on making the best out of a terrible situation. As you move forward next year, you will be solely be asked to think out of the box as you work towards a brand new high school experience. You will for sure be nervous and apprehensive, but also be excited and build convictions and confidence along the path to being educated in a different world than we have known. Under normal situations, moving on to a new destination from a setting you have called home the past four years is stressful and anxiety producing. However, it can be and is an awesome and exciting time. You are beginning a new chapter in your young lives. Parting ways from friends is never easy after several years of being together. Whatever it is you're feeling, embrace those feelings. And don't ever be afraid to reach out for help and support. Pledge to stay in touch with each other while a new door opens to meeting new people, new friends in high school. I promise you this. You will look back after your four years in high school and think to yourselves, where did the time go? So relish your new experiences. Make good choices and embrace the opportunities you will be presented at either Lowell High, the Vogue, Lowell Catholic, or any other institution you attend. Most importantly, stay involved. Hang with the right people. And as I said earlier, don't be afraid ever to ask for help. In closing, it's been my honor and privilege to have been involved helping to guide and communicate the importance of making good choices along your path in life. Remember, knowledge is power and your academic curriculum is important. However, having ethics, morals, and simply being a kind person is so important to all aspects of life. Please be kind to one another. As a side note, I will be retiring from teaching at the close of this school year. For the past nine years, I have called the butler my home. It's because of you, class of 2020, and all my other kids that I have worked with that have provided me with the ride of my lifetime. Good luck, stay healthy, and always maintain your strong convictions to make the right choices. I hope everyone has a great summer. 
Take care and best of luck, Butler Bulldogs, class of 2020. Thank you. The Butler faculty and staff are proud to present Academic Excellence Awards to two outstanding eighth grade students. This year was uniquely challenging. The students who are receiving these awards this year worked incredibly hard and their successes were earned through self-discipline, resilience, motivation, and determination. This Academic Excellence Award goes to a student who has excelled this year in each of their core academic classes. Their work in all subjects is consistently insightful, thoughtful, and thorough. Their focus, tenacity, and follow through help to inspire greater excellence in the work of their classmates. Congratulations, Vanak Sok, for earning this Academic Excellence Award. The award for Outstanding Academic Achievement was a unanimous vote by all of the eighth grade teachers. This award is being presented this year to a student whose curiosity and drive for excellence has made clear in, was made clear in every assignment. They are regularly challenged themselves and in doing so, help to elevate and extend the work of their classmates and teachers. In addition to their outstanding academic accomplishments, this student's incredible empathy, humility, and fantastic sense of humor has inspired us all throughout the year. Congratulations, Angelina Sal. It has been a pleasure to, and an honor to have you as a student, and we are all so proud of you. Thank you. The Butler Citizenship Award is an award that's presented to recognize students who possess strength of character and serve as role models to others. This year, the eighth grade team has chosen two students who exemplify the role of good citizens. Both are students who are genuinely vested in their education. Not only are they good students, but they are also consistently willing to help staff and students in and out of the classroom setting. Please join me in congratulating the Butler Citizenship Award winners for 2020, Harmony Briggs and April DeCastro. Good evening. My name is Kadeen Healy and I'm the social worker at the Butler Middle School. I'm here to present the Perfect Attendance Award to this year's eighth grader. The Perfect Attendance Award is earned by a student when they have not been absent in any of the four years of middle school, no tardies and no dismissals for any reason. This is truly an accomplishment and really shows the student and their family's commitment to their education. This year's eighth grader who has er earned perfect attendance is Anjali Choup. Please join me in congratulating Anjali. The Principal's Award is giving to a student that best represents the Butler Middle School and the values we instill in our students every day. Students are nominated and staff in grades five through eight vote for the student to receive this, award, this award. Before I announce the winner, here are a few attributes the staff wrote about the student that won this year. The student always puts forth great effort in all work, has a positive attitude, and is nurturing to peers. The student is someone you can count on to model goodness, greatness, and amazingness. The student takes pride in all work assignments, school activities, and always has a smile to share. The student is always willing to help others and is an excellent example of our PBIS core values. The student always greets you with a smile and is, is an all around great Butler student who is respectful and trustworthy. The student is very charismatic and carries a positive attitude towards learning. The student works well independently and with others, always willing to help without any prompting. The student is supportive and helps fellow classmates with issues, both academically and socially. 
The student has been a model student all four years at the Butler, an honor student and an amazing volleyball player. For these reasons, I am proud to award the Principal's Award for 2020, Akili Fenn. Congratulations. <laughs>
Tatiana Pimatel, Veronica Porsang, Richmond Porsang, Kayla Prack, Molina Prep, Calliston Ramos, Gavin Rees, Juan Pablo Restrepo, Xavier Rivero, Anthony Rivera, Jada Lee Rivera, Xavier Rivera, Neela Rivera, Jaden Rodriguez, Raquel Rodriguez, Eric Rodriguez Rivera, Alan Rosler, Enzo Rosa, Gemelai Salazar, Tabri Sam, Jensiel Sanabi, Maya Sanchez, Jalen Sanchez, Luis Santos de Pava Nunes, Angelina Sal, Talita Scandario Rosa, Zayden Senatha Visok, Jose Serrano, Joshua Silva, Patrick Simones, Benoc Sock, Carlos Texera de Mello, Carter Tran, Trevin Tran, Brianna Tyler, Raina Walker, Jacob Ye, Tiana Yu. Again, thank you all for joining us this evening. I want to thank Mr. Figuerino for performing the Star Spangled Banner, Mr. Florence, our guest speaker, and Carter for your per beautiful performance to follow, the grade eight team and staff for your support. A special thank you to Mrs. Allison Dumas, Josh's mom, for orchestrating and producing this virtual ceremony for us. Thank you, thank you. Finally, I want to remind parents and students that you will be able to pick up promotional certificates and awards tomorrow at 4.30 at the Butler in a car procession. One car per family we will be allowed to line up because we have a limited amount of space to stage cars safely. Please visit our website for more information and details. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care, be safe, stay well, and congratulations, class of 2020.
Hey, what's good, Butler Middle School, 8th grade class of 2020? It's LeGarrette Blunt here, three-time Super Bowl champion, twice with your New England Patriots. Let's go. Hey, I just want to say congratulations, everyone. Um, continue to grind, continue to change the future, continue to be successful. Um, you guys are the future generation that can change everything that's, that's going on with the world today. Um, the future is definitely in you guys' hands. Um, continue to grind, continue to make valiant efforts to to be successful and get better um to grow and learn um do everything that you guys possibly can to stay safe in this pandemic that's what we want everyone to do at this point is just stay as safe as possible continue practice social distancing and um congratulations hey turn up with your families and turn up with your loved ones and just keep it as safe as possible let's go high school here we come yay let's go Congrats.